morning, my name is Luke Dietry. I'm a firefighter paramedic with the Elk Grove Village Fire Department. And I'm gonna walk you through the, our water rescue response vehicle that we have here in town. Uh, I've been on the team for approximately eight years and I, I'll take place in all of our major disciplines. As we walk around to our main dive squad, this was purchased in 2018, so it's fairly new. How Elk Grove runs it is we set up our compartments based off the discipline. So as you can see, we can run swift water, which is moving waters, rivers, streams. We dive, so it's more like lakes and ponds and retention areas. We also do ice rescue. So if a ice fisherman or animal gets trapped on the ice, we do have ice rescue capabilities for that. We walk around to the front. As I was saying, we are set up based off of what kind of call we are going to go to. So in this compartment, it's all of our scuba gear. Uh, we upgrade every couple years because the technology changes, we need to change with it. Uh, this new stuff was purchased so it's easier to clean. Uh, we also run surface supplied air. So not only do we have the air tanks on our backs, we can also get air from the shore. So we in essence have an unlimited supply of air. Coming to the middle, we set up our gear bags based off of swift water or if it's dive. In the back, as I was talking about, we can run un an unlimited supply of air. As you can see, we have two 6,000 pound tanks up there that we can hook our airlines into and breathe off of underwater. We have a 50 gallon tank of clean water set up so we can clean our gear at the scene rather than dragging contaminated gear back to the station. Inside, we can use this trailer to dress and undress in inclement weather. If it's hot, hot or cold. This is uh, air conditioned and heated if we need it. We also run our sonar ops out of this trailer. Uh, Elk Grove Village has the capability to run a side scan sonar or a sector scan, which means that the side scan, it's, it looks like a missile and we can tow it from a boat and we can cover larger areas at once looking for an object or a victim uh, many times we are called to the scene by police who are looking for some evidence in the water that may have gotten thrown in there. Or unfortunately, sometimes we do have to look for swimmers or divers or ice fishermen or snowmobilers that may have gone through the ice or been involved in some kind of fishing accident. Uh, as I mentioned, the sector scan is a stationary sonar. So it has, a, it has tripod legs that we can put in the water and we can set it to scan for a certain radius of area and we have to pick it up and move it to the next area to search. Um, those operations usually take a little bit longer length of time, so we do have to kind of prepare to be in the, in the long haul for it, so that's how we do set up. As you can see, this is usually our command area for the sonar. We do have a larger TV so that multiple people, chiefs, um, other fire departments can be seeing what we're doing and don't need to crowd around the, the, uh, the tablet. Just like in the squad, as I showed you, the 6,000 pound tanks, we also have two 6,000 pound tanks that we have on the squad as well in order to uh, breathe off of. So we can supply a large number of divers for an extended period of time if need be. In the back, if you notice, we do have an outboard motor. Uh, we also have the capability, we have an inflatable Zodiac boat that we can inflate on shore. Uh, and that is if we need to get into a lake or a pond that does not have a boat launch. Uh, there's very few boat launches in Elk Grove to launch our rigid hull boat. So we do have an inflatable Zodiac that we can carry with a number of guys to the shore and hook up an outboard motor to be able to deploy our side scan or sector scan sonar. Or we can also launch divers off of the boat. So if somebody is out too far from shore and we can't reach them with conventional means, we can deploy off of our inflatable boat. As I mentioned, uh, Elk Grove also has a capability of launching a rigid hull boat, which means it has a steel bottom. The downside to it is it has to be launched from a vehicle down a boat 
launch instead of being able to inflate it onshore and walk it into the water. An advantage of this is it's larger, which means we can launch dive ops and sonar out of here with more guys helping, and it has a more powerful outboard motor. Thank you for watching. Uh, my name is Luke Tiedrew with the Elk Grove Village Fire Department. If you have any further questions, feel free to stop by and come and see us.